Hey, it's JK Dowdle here and welcome to the squeeze page tutorial inside of Essential Pages. Now, I love squeeze pages. I love talking about squeeze pages. I love building squeeze pages. There's a whole bunch of reasons why, but my favorite reason to talk about squeeze pages is because as you can see on screen here, this page is really, really simple. There is not a lot happening on this page whatsoever. This page would take about 10 minutes to build in any page builder, whether you're using ClickFunnels, whether you're using InstaBuilder, whatever it might be, this is the layout of your squeeze page that you're going to go for. And we're going to talk about the elements of this squeeze page throughout this video. But I want to kind of start by introducing you to why this page is so important and how it functions. So feel free to skip ahead if you're already very experienced with squeeze pages. You can probably skip towards the actual copywriting stuff I'm going to talk about. But if you're not familiar with having a squeeze page, if you've never built one before, I'm talking to you, you need to listen to what I have to say because this is a page that you cannot ignore. You have to build this page and I'm going to tell you why. This page is the most effective tool that you will ever, 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 ever use at building up your email list, period. There are a lot of tutorials, there's a lot of videos, there's a lot of products being sold that talk about new undiscovered ways of building up your email list and certainly some of them are very, very effective. Let's talk about chatbots, for example, right? It's an effective way of building up a list of leads and you know migrating people from chatbots to your email list and all that good stuff. When it comes to building up your email list, you've probably heard the expression, the money is in the list. And that's definitely, definitely true. This is the number one most effective tool at building up your email list. If you can send traffic to this page, people will enter their email address, depending on how you actually give away something on this page, which we're going to talk about in a few minutes here. People will enter their email address onto this page and they will begin having a relationship with you. Now, when they enter their email address on here, they're not immediately going to become an amazing customer for you. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. It depends on what happens after they enter their email address. That's a whole other kettle of fish we're going to talk about in other pages. But on this page right now, traffic is going to land on this page. They're going to read over your headline. They're going to read over your sub headline, and they're going to make a decision about what to do. There's two things they can do. They can go up to the top of the page and they can hit the back button, or they can enter their email address and hit the submit button. That's it. Those are the only two options that they have. If they enter their email address, they have just committed some type of action. They've committed a high engagement action, which tells you that they're obviously interested in whatever it is that you're giving away on this page. And we'll talk about different things to give away as well in this video. If they don't enter their email address, then you never hear from them again. You could put like Facebook tracking pixels on here and retarget them with advertising. That's not what we're talking about. We're just talking about this page right here and the function of this page. So when people get to this page and if they enter their email address, they will then be delivered into your autoresponder, your email autoresponder, and you will then want to send them emails so that you're able to build up a relationship with them and eventually sell them products, whether it's your products or affiliate products or whatever it might be, multi-level marketing opportunities, that's entirely down to you and your business. But when they come to this page, those are the only two options they can take. They can enter their email or they can hit the back button. That's it. So let's talk about why someone would want to enter their email address. What's the point in entering your email address to this page? Well, this is where you, as the person putting this page together, as the actual infopreneur building out this page, this is where you have two major decisions to make. There are two, well, there's actually a few different ways of doing this, but I'm going to say for the sake of this video, there's only two choices that you have here. You can give away something for free, like a PDF or an ebook or a video or something like that. That's typically called a lead magnet, and it's something that you're going to give away in exchange for their email address. The person then will go through and, you know, read that ebook or watch that video or whatever it is that it is that you're giving away. The idea is that that lead magnet should inspire some trust. It should start that relationship building up. And it should ultimately lead to that person becoming a high quality subscriber that you become, uh, you know, a trustful authority to, uh, so that when you recommend products for that person to go and buy, they will be more likely to go and make that purchase and we use email marketing in order to build up that relationship. So the email marketing builds up the relationship, but in order to start that relationship, the kind of virtual handshake needs to happen on this page. So that's why this page is so important. So you can give away something like a lead magnet, like I mentioned before, something like an ebook or a video. There's no shortage of like PLR that you can give away, 
private label rights stuff uh, that I'm not a huge fan of. Honestly, if you just put together a simple one page document that helps people overcome a small problem that they're having, like maybe how to optimize your YouTube channel, how to create an effective Facebook page, how to make viral posts on Facebook, how to do this, how to do that, how to build a squeeze page. That could even be a topic for your lead magnet that you could give away. People will then land on this page and depending on the traffic source where you've actually gotten that visitor from, they will come onto this page, they will read over the headline, they'll read over the sub headline and make their decision about what they want to do. So that's kind of the first option. You actually give away something that you have created or that you have the rights to that will ultimately get people onto your email list and then your email marketing will start that process of creating the relationship and the trust with that subscriber. Now the alternative is to do what I'm actually using on this page right here. This is a squeeze page that is uh, going to lead into either a bridge page or a thank you page uh, that is going to sell a product for me as an affiliate. So I would consider this what I call an affiliate style squeeze page where I am personally not giving away a lead magnet. I'm not giving away an ebook. I'm not giving away a video. I'm not giving away something that I have personally created. I'm literally just capturing people's email information so that I can follow up with them and help build that relationship. But what I'm actually giving away is essentially my affiliate link to a product called, in this case, the 12 minute affiliate system. So let me show you where I've actually gotten the copy from in this page. And this will work for any type of affiliate offer, uh, especially this works particularly well for products from ClickBank, uh, digital types of products. You can also use this for CPA offers and stuff as well. Um, but for, mo for the most part, if you wanna use this right away as an affiliate marketer, one of the most effective ways to do this is with ClickBank products. So let me go ahead here onto ClickBank. This is the product that I am actually setting up to give away on this particular page right here. It's called the 12 minute affiliate system. It's selling really, really well right now, especially with the coronavirus pandemic. There's a lot of search traffic for make money online, work from home, all that kind of stuff. The gravity on this product is very, very high. The payouts are really good. Uh, initially, you're not gonna get a huge amount of money, but there's a lot of recurring billing that comes from that. And this, is the sales page for the 12 minute affiliate system. It says fact, if you can order a pizza, you can make money with this system. Let's go back to my squeeze page. Fact, if you can order a pizza, then you can make money online using this system. So I haven't even put together my own headline here. I'm literally just taking the headline off of the product that I'm actually intending to sell by having people opt in to the squeeze page. You can see down here as well, you've just stumbled across a brand new system that almost no one knows about yet, currently makes me blah, 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 blah. How to get step-by-step -step in minutes. Look at what we have right here. If you just stumbled across a brand new system that almost no one knows about yet, blah, 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 step by step in minutes, okay? So all I've done is taken the copy, the headline and the subheadline from the product that I am intending to sell and I have dropped it here onto my squeeze page. Now, this is an effective way of putting together a squeeze page with the specific goal of selling this product right here, okay? If you wanna go and sell, or sorry, if you wanna give away your own lead magnet, if you wanna give away an ebook, if you wanna give away a video, you wanna give away something like that, then obviously you can't go and use this headline and this right here because your ebook and lead magnet, whatever it is that you're giving away, is not gonna work for this. So if you wanna come up with a headline that you can drop right here, head into the bonuses section here inside Essential Pages and you will find my 59 headline templates. These are high impact headlines that you can literally go and grab. They're all set up with simple templates. There's three examples of each of those 59 headlines. Just literally go drop a headline right here and then literally one of the other headlines, you just drop it in there as a sub headline and that now becomes uh, your headline and sub headline for the, e uh, the ebook, the PDF, the video, whatever it is that you're giving away uh, if you are not intending to sell an affiliate product. I'm guessing that most people will wanna watch this video because they will want to sell affiliate products as soon as possible. In that case, go to the sales page of the product that you wanna sell, grab the headline, grab the sub headline and put it in this format on whatever page builder you are using, period. That's it, that is all you have to do if you're an affiliate marketer and you want to use this page to go and make affiliate sales. The traffic that you send to this page, depending on the type of headline that you're using, can come from Bing, can come from Google, uh, it can come from Facebook, not for this particular page because this is way too hypey. Uh, it's way too much talking about you know making money online and stuff like that. You'd have to dial that back a little bit. You'd have to change the language 
language a little bit to make this Facebook compliant. But if you're on Bing, you can run traffic to this page literally today. As you can see, there's not much happening on this page. Now, I talked about this in the overview video that I build my pages in ClickFunnels. This is not meant to be a pitch to you to buy ClickFunnels. It's just an easy way to show you the different sections of this page, okay? So even if your page doesn't look exactly like this, this is what you need to have to make your essential squeeze page actually work for you. So you want to have a headline, okay? And I've talked about where to get the headline from. You can get it right from the sales page of the product that you're selling, or you can get it from uh, the 59 headlines template from here inside of essential pages. Your subheadline, I've talked about where to get that from. And again, if you don't have one, if you're not promoting an affiliate product right away, just use one of the 59 headline templates and drop another headline in here. You want to have a line of text that tells people what to do, okay? Don't underestimate estimate this, you have to talk to your visitors in some cases like they are third graders. Enter your email address and you'll receive this video in 30 seconds. You got to be really, really straightforward and really, really simple and just direct into the point. How do I get the promise that is being made up here, right? This is something your visitor is going to ask themselves. Sounds great. I can order a pizza. I can do this. I'm going to make millions of dollars. How do I do that? I got to enter my email address and I'll get the video in 30 seconds. That's it. Tell them how to do it. One tip that I'll give you just kind of as a general copywriting tip, and I'll report this, uh, sorry, I'll repeat this through other videos here in the Essential Pages training, is that if you want to become better at copywriting, remove as many words. This isn't how you become a great copywriter. I'm not that I consider myself a great copywriter, but if you want to improve your ability to be a copywriter, one simple thing you can do is remove as many words as possible from your pages. Uh, remove anything that doesn't need to be there. If you can take out one of these words and the sentence still makes sense and it's still effective and it's grammatically correct, remove it. Make your sentences as short and sweet and direct as possible and you will immediately improve your squeeze pages. I've seen people put together squeeze pages and their call to action is like, all you have to do to get started is really simple. Just type, no, you don't need any of that. Enter your email address, you'll get the video in 30 seconds, boom, you're done, that's it. You wanna have your email address field Optionally, you can have a first name field. So let's talk about whether or not you should have a first name field on your squeeze page. Um, I bounce back and forth between having it or not having it. It depends on the emails that I intend to send to my subscriber after they opt in. If I have their first name, so if they enter their first name in here, my autoresponder is going to keep it for me. And I can then use that first name in subject lines. I can use it obviously inside emails. I can use it in a whole bunch of different neat and creative ways. And that certainly helps with getting more opens from the emails that I send out. It's gonna help me with building up a relationship with my subscriber. Um, and it's just something that's better to have than not have. The reason that some people won't put a first name field onto the squeeze page is that it's a tiny layer of friction. It's one extra thing that your visitor has to do in order to get access to the benefit that you're putting up here. So some people say that it will hurt your conversion rate to put a first name field on here. That's not something I completely agree with. I think that if you have a great headline and a great sub headline, people will be happy to give you even more information than this because they want to get the benefit of what you're advertising to them in the two headlines that you're using above the, uh, the actual call to action down here. So keep in mind, if you wanna ask for the first name, it's something that will come in helpful with your email marketing, but if you don't wanna ask for it, it's not the worst thing in the world. Generally, you wanna create as little friction as possible to get people to actually submit their information to you, and by asking for less information, you're reducing that amount of friction. So it's great to have it, but if you don't have it, it's not the end of the world. It's not mandatory by any means. I think though, personally, if you got a great headline and a great subheadline, you could even go further and you could ask for their phone number so that you could text them something later. That's a whole other kettle of fish that we'll worry about that afterwards. So you wanna ask for either the email address or the first name and the email address, but obviously you have to ask for the email address. Then you wanna have your submit button. Please don't put a button on your squeeze page that just says submit, okay? Don't do that. You wanna make sure that you have some kind of action-based text. You wanna use a verb on this button. So watch this video, get this thing, download this, get access. You know, you wanna have some kind of verb. You wanna have a movement word in order to suggest to them that when they click on this button, something is going to happen. Something is going to happen after they click on this button. If it just says submit, it doesn't really tell them what's going to happen. It doesn't set their expectations. So if I say, watch this video now, it tells them obviously that by entering the email address, they can click on this. They're able to, surprise, surprise, watch this video 
now. All right. So the other thing I want to mention about this button is that you want to write your button, your actual call to action submit button. You want to write it in the first person. Okay. So you want to write it in the actual, uh, when someone reads, uh, this button, uh, your visitor who lands on this page, they're going to read this button and they're going to read it in their mind in their own voice. Okay. So if this just says submit, it's not very exciting. If this says watch this video now, it's actually me saying that. Okay. I'm not going to get too technical into this, but as you are reading over a web page, you are seeing symbols on a page. Those symbols are being, uh, basically the light is reflecting off those symbols. It's going into your eyes. Your brain is processing it and your head actually reads out the information. Okay. So just knowing that that's a very powerful thing to actually understand by putting any type of headline or button or call to action or anything like that into the first person, when your visitor reads the page, they're actually going to read the words that you have written in their own head. So if you're able to get them to say words like, I'm going to do this today, that's going to be a very powerful signal in their mind that says, Hey, I'm going to do this today. So make sure that your submit button, which is what they have to click to submit their email address is written in the first person. You can also take that extra little copywriting lesson about writing in the first person. You can apply it to basically any page, but especially when you want them to do something, you want them to actually read it out in their mind. Watch this video. Now that's exactly what they want to do. So they're going to go and click on the button. You can also put something in the, underneath this kind of like a lighthearted thing. A lot of people will say like, well, never share your information, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can drop that in there. Um, I like to just kind of take this as an opportunity to really talk to my audience as though they're third graders and say that, Hey, you can watch this at any time, even if it's 3 AM, we don't want to confuse this with something like a webinar where they have to go and choose the time slot for the webinar that they want to watch. We want to make it clear that they can watch this at any time. And then at the bottom, you want to have any disclaimers or copyright indications on the bottom of your page. Uh, this is a page that uh, I've literally set up just to instruct you on how to put together a squeeze page. So this isn't obviously a page that I'm using right now, but this format of a page is something that I am using in a couple of different places. Now, right here, as you can see, uh, with click funnels, we've got an actual layout of what this page is. And as you can see, there's not a lot here. So whether you're using click funnels or you're using InstaBuilder or thrive or whatever it might be to go and build your pages, wherever your page is actually going to live, this is all you need to have a headline, a sub headline, a sentence that tells them what they have to do to get this, whatever this is up here, first name, optionally, uh, definitely the email address field and a submit button written in the first person. That's it. Forget about graphics, forget about videos, forget about pictures, forget about gifts, forget about everything else. This is it. If you build a page that is laid out like this and you send traffic to this page, people are going to give you their email address. They are going to opt in. So let's talk about kind of a nice little segue into some of the other pages inside the essential pages training. Once people click on this button, watch this video. Now they are going to be redirected. Okay. Clicking on this button has to take them somewhere. So there's two places that you can take them. Well, actually, there's multiple places that you could take them, but there are two places that I recommend taking them. One of them is a thank you page. You can see that we have a tutorial here inside essential pages for the essential thank you page. And we also have a tutorial for the essential bridge page. Now here's what I'm going to recommend to you because once you start linking pages together, you're creating a sales funnel. So there's different options here for uh, what is the best page to link to what's the best page to send your traffic to. If you are an affiliate marketer and you want to sell a product, you're basically going and grabbing the headline and sub headline from some product that you want to go and sell. Here's what I recommend. After they click on this button, you want to take them over to a bridge page. Okay. If you're using a lead magnet, you want to take them to a thank you page. Now, if you're using a lead magnet simply because you have one lying around and your actual goal is to sell an affiliate product, don't use your lead magnet. Literally just use the affiliate strategy I've talked about. Grab your headline and your sub headline from the product that you eventually want to sell, put it on here. Forget about your lead magnet. If you are an affiliate marketer, you want to sell an affiliate product, just set it up like this and then take your traffic to a bridge page. Skip over the thank you page. Just send your traffic straight to the bridge page, head into the essential pages tutorial for a bridge page, and you'll see exactly what you have to do there. That little funnel, you're having your squeeze page into your bridge page is going to produce sales because once you see the tutorial for the bridge page, you're going to see just how powerful and how exceptionally powerful a bridge page can be. So, uh, that's very exciting. I can't wait for you to go and watch that tutorial. So if you are an affiliate marketer, if your goal is to sell an affiliate product, 
please don't change this page. Please don't try and reinvent the wheel. Just do this. Just build this page. I promise it will work and people will come in. They'll enter their email address. They'll hit this button. They will go to your bridge page. You'll see everything that happens on the bridge page in the bridge page tutorial, and they will go and purchase the product that you are recommending. In this case, for me, it's the 12 minute affiliate system. That's all I have to say about squeeze pages. There's not a lot to say. There's no tutorial about how to build this page, because as you can see, there's not a lot of content on here. It would take literally 10 minutes to go and put this page together. It is extremely, extremely, extremely simple to do. Now, if you are a ClickFunnels user, you can click underneath this video to actually go and grab this page and drop it into your ClickFunnels account and the page is already built for you. If you're not a ClickFunnels user, there's a link underneath here where you can actually go and uh, sign up for a 14 day free trial. Once you've done that, you can also literally just go and grab this page and drop it into your ClickFunnels account. All of the tutorials that I have here, all of the pages that I've made with the essential page strategy are all available to go and instantly download for free directly from ClickFunnels directly into your ClickFunnels account. But obviously you have to have a ClickFunnels account in order to do that. So if you want to go ahead and do that, the link is underneath here. I also have a cheat sheet or a checklist for you, which kind of summarizes the majority of what I've talked about inside this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out inside the 10X Mastermind group. Thanks for watching this video. My name is JK Dowdle and I will see you inside our next video.